Hey guys, welcome back to the Simply Knives YouTube channel. Today we got a review for you of the CRKT Small Pilar. Here's what the knife looks like. This one has a carbon fiber scale. Just flip it on to the other side. Real nice. I don't see. Is it titanium? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, look at that. One of the screws is loose, so I'll have to tighten that. Um, but yeah, here it is in all its glory. You can spidey flick it. You can thumb roll it. It looks really cool. It's pretty substantial. Uh, kind of like blade thickness. Really thin behind the edge, but see how like thick it is up here. So it's kind of a, a beefy little boy. And uh, he, he is very sharp. So let's go ahead and show you that. Yep. Very sharp little boy. Fun to cut things with. And the like, you know? He's fun. This, all right, yeah. So I, I gotta say, of the knives that I have, oh, and also you can pinch it open really easily. Although this is definitely not my favorite. Um, and actually when I got it, I thought this was gonna be the large version. So I want it to be a, a little bigger. Um, let me go ahead and get the Rat 2 for size comparison. Rat 2 is not a big knife. And as you can see, it is substantially bigger than this uh, Sarah KT Pilar, the, at least the small version. But I gotta say, after having carried this for a good bit of time, that it's probably one of my favorite kind of, I guess, fifth pocket knives is what you would call it. I, I really like this milling down here. Honestly, uh, even just like going like this is really satisfying. Um... Vox Nias Design. I don't even... I think this is a, a D2 steel. I'm just trying to find the steel marking. I don't know if I can. It's got that little backstop there. This one does not have a pocket clip on it. The person that sent it to me rem removed that. And uh, I kind of like... Having this deep in my pocket. So I just kind of let this light all the way on the bottom... As I have another knife like clipped and uh, usually it, that way it won't like touch and scratch up with the other knife so I really like the compact tiny size of this knife um, there's smaller knives but this is this one gets carried a whole lot just because of it looks pretty classy with the carbon fiber um, you can choke up on it so like far and you have so much control it's a really short like blade you know, it's like the size of, like, your thumb, I guess. I don't know. It's not long. But it's really sweet. And I do like carrying it as my fifth pocket knife. I think that you can get these for, like... Yeah, look at that. It's so nice. I think you can get them for, like, $25. Um, I, I got this one off of Knife Swap on Reddit, which is where I get a lot of my knives. Uh, honestly, at this point, I probably have to start selling some because people in my family are starting to ask questions about me. Look at that. Look at that freaking centering. It's pretty much perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. It's got a real nice point on there. Let's kind of do... Oh, sorry. Do an up-close examination of that blade. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's corrosion in there. It probably is D2, because D2 always seems to corrode on me. Because I have sweaty hands. For all you non-sweaty hand people, D2 is just fine. And honestly, it's fine for me, too. Um, that would that was already there. Uh, probably when I got it. At least I hope. I hope that I'm not, I don't have that corrosive of hands. Uh, when I first got it, it could not spotty flick at all, but I just loosened up the pivot, you know, just a tiny bit. 
Now it's body flakes out really well. No blade play at all, so you can get a really nice kind of happy medium there, which is nice. Um, for the ergonomics, well, if you're holding it like this, it's not that comfortable because it kind of like presses against your finger. It's kind of hard to get all your fingers on there. But if you're holding it up here like this, you know, there's no jimping at all. Um, but you have, like, look how much I'm holding. I'm holding on to pretty much the entire thing. I don't think I'm going to be slipping. Uh, and then you got these nice little milled out section down here to just be like, oh, wow, that feels nice. Also, you know what's kind of fun? It kind of looks like a little skull if you don't have your, your pocket clip in there. So ergonomics, just fine. Nothing super exceptionally incredible, but nothing bad at all either. Um, I like the different deployment options. I like that you can slow roll it, pinch it open, flick it. And when you flick it, I notice this too. When you flick it, and then you close your fingers, it's always like your your finger is just made to just go right in to the finger choil. It's perfect. Oh, let's get it one more cut. Yeah, it's very sharp and very nice and fun to play with. And a great, great, great fifth pocket carry. I actually carry this maybe, maybe more than like, more than half of my knives combined. No, maybe not that much. But I carry it so much just because of... It's a, I just carry it as like my secondary knife. Like I have my knife that I'm carrying for the day and then I just put this deeper into the pocket. So this knife rocks. Um, I actually like the smaller version better now because, because it works in that fifth pocket way. Anyways, that's all my thoughts on it for now. Uh, please let me know in the comments if there's something I can do to improve as a reviewer or something else you would like to see. Um, and that's all for now. Oh, look. It's on bronze washers. I can't believe I didn't mention that. Well, that's something I can do to improve. Actually talk about the opening mechanism. It's smooth, though. Well, it didn't open there. Anyways, let me know how I can improve. I would really appreciate the feedback. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.